Hi, welcome back to another unboxing video with Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today I'm going to be showing you the Majesty Lord Blaster Special Deck Set. So, this is by far, in my opinion, one of the best products that Bushiroad has released for new players because it comes with a playset of basically every card, and it comes with strong playsets of uh, cards that are going to be used in the long run, such as perfect guards and also key cards like strong cards like MLB, which I don't see leaving uh, Royal Paladin's uh, slot for strong finishers anytime soon in standard, so loving this MLB. Uh, before I get started and cracking this thing open, I do want to give a shout out to Triple Sleep TCG for providing me with this box. So if you guys don't know uh, what Triple Sleep TCG is, it is a website where you can go and purchase Vanguard products. Uh, they focus especially on providing you guys with case splits. If you don't know what a case split is, it's where you are provided with a playset of the base rarity of every card you will need of a specific clan from a booster set you wish to acquire. If you know that you will need a playset of every single card, VRs, triple Rs, all the way down to commons, provide that to you for the specified price that each different clan is valued at. So go ahead, check out Triple Sleeve TCG if you guys wanna be able to update your deck they have really fair prices and they're really good on the demand and providing quality service for you guys. So thanks again to Triple Sleep TCG for that and I'm gonna go right ahead and open this boy up. Now today, the special opening tool, I think if I can get it, will just be my fingers. Nope, scissors it is. Give a little snip, little baby snip. Come on, cool. All right, so what I already like about this box is that it's basically its own storage box. So you don't have to just throw this box away, you know? You could you could probably store something in this if you want. It's a nice little product box. Uh, it's not very durable, so of course I wouldn't expect you to carry this thing. Well, yeah, like I said, it already ripped. All right, now let's talk about the actual box this thing comes in. The case for the deck, wow, that looks really nice. So the art, I won't lie, it looks kind of faded. Like it's been a little bit used, but when you're printing at a mass scale, this is actually pretty decent. Quality feels good. The stitching seems good. That's really cool too. Uh, I'm digging this a lot overall, actually. So let's go ahead. It's a magnet box, so opens up. There's a magnet right there. So that's really cool. Magnetic box, so it closes like that. And inside, it's a little divider, so there's nothing in here. So a little separator right there. And inside, it comes with basically everything you need. So right away, you get your deck box. Every player, you need a deck box. Gives you some nice sleeves. Wow, those look nice. So you already got your card sleeves, so you don't have to go buying some Ultra Pros or Dragon Shields or those nice fancy Bush Road sleeves, you just, boom, you got your sleeves right from the get-go. Uh, they're the, the same quality as the official Bush Road sleeves. Hey, uh, it's Richard from the future, quick edit. Um, I tried on the sleeve that came in the thing, and the minute I put the card in, it made a crease. And already from, I've, I'm testing it out with a previous sleeve from the past, just like the difference in the quality, like look at this, I'm barely squeezing the cards with any pressure and look how much this, like I really have to press with this, but I barely press, and it's already, look, it's gaping open. And when I let go, it just, yeah. So they look nice. They got the silver on the inside and they got a really nice art. But if you're keeping these like without an oversleeve, don't don't bother. I take back everything I said about how these are quality nice sleeves. They just look really nice in the packaging. If you decide to use these sleeves with the art just because, you know, I, I mean, I'm gonna use them with it because I like the artwork and I'm gonna oversleeve them. So use oversleeves, you know, get some dragon shields and just put them over this and Work with that. Well, I'm pretty disappointed with the quality of these sleeves. Like, that's pretty gross. Um, so you got the silver on the inside, the nice art on the back. So that's really cool. And inside, packaged, 
we already got the first. Every every single one of these you get a SVR, quote unquote, uh, Rarity Majesty Lord Blaster. So you get this golden border around it. And you, so you're guaranteed a high rarity card. So you got something nice and fancy to look at. You know, it's just a really, really great first product for players that are new to the game. Um, so let's go ahead and open this thing back up. In the back we got our force markers. There's the little flap, so pull that open. And all of these should just slide out. Cool. So there's a little middle part that keeps it all together. I think these are the double-sided ones, so I have it backwards. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the grade threes. So starts off, you get your four copies of the Majesty of Lord Blaster. Um, unlike in the past where you had just like one foiled and the rest were common, like in the Legend decks. This actually gives you four foiled Majesty Lord Blasters. So all three of your grade threes are foiled, which is really, really nice from the get-go. Um, Majesty Lord Blaster skill. We can go right into that if we can. Uh, if Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark are in your soul, this gets a crit passively. And if it's on Van, it gets 5k and a drive check. So meaning during your opponent's turn, it also gets 5k. When it attacks, you put two rear guards into your soul and you get two imaginary gift force. So the obvious play here is to do force one because you can't stack force two um, on additional rear guards, but um, you can with force one. So just using that skill repetitively, it's just so good. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm really like, I've, you know, I've seen pictures of this, like when the Japanese are, the English one looks really, really nice. Even the one where it's not blown up like that, that's just really clean. So yeah. And this is really cool. All right, so on to the rest of the deck. So it already starts off when you open the package. Is that focus there? Uh, gives you all the foils right from the get-go. The special Blaster Dark, which was just not errated. It has that special skill of this is a Royal Paladin, meaning it, you can only run this type of Blaster Dark, a Shadow Paladin, as if it has that skill text. If it doesn't have that skill text, you can't run it in the deck. So foil, foil, foils, and the rest are our commons. So. For foils, you get your Blaster Blade, your Blaster Dark, one Star Call, a foiled Wingle Brave, and a foiled when light and darkness intersects. I feel like it should be intersect, but um, whatever, translations, you know. Uh, the rest are foils, so from the start, they start off with two foil copies of your vanilla Galatines. Makes sense, it's a trial deck, you know, you'll replace these with something better, but it's also not awful. You know, vanillas are good, 10k shield, decent for a trial deck. Plus it's Galatine, you know, Aichi aesthetic. Uh, they give you three more copies of Blaster Blades, so the deck comes with a full playset of Blaster Blades. So you get foil, triple R foiling, that's actually kind of cool, uh, with uh, your common art ones. They use the same art from the trial deck. Uh, I don't actually know if this is shinier or not in the trial deck. It kind of feels like it's shinier or something's a little different about it, but uh, it could just be me. They're probably exactly the same. Um, they also give you three copies of Blaster Dark uh, with the alt art and the one foil trial deck art. Um, so shiny, shiny boys as well. So. That's gonna be kind of cool. Uh, if you do have a problem <laughs> with like OCD with the different arts, you'd probably just have to deal with it, or you have to just get uh, your fourth common uh, Blaster Dark, which aren't uh, that expensive. I think they're like $2 at most. These things though, these things are at least, I think like, like last I checked like 12, 15 bucks. So if you want all foiled out Blaster Dark, it's gonna be a, a mission. They give you three copies of Star Call Trumpeter, which is really nice because you, you don't have to worry about getting an additional one for that playset. And they're also the same art, so not too much to worry about there. The skill for this card is really nice. It's when it's placed, you counter blast one, so blast one, return a card with blaster in its name and a copy of when light intersect when light and darkness intersects, you return them uh, to your hand from the drop zone. And its other skill is continuous. If you have a Vanguard Blaster in its name, this gets boost. So it's a pretty much consistently a 10k booster. Your only grade three in this deck is Magic Dealer Blaster. Um, 
for the most part, that's all you need. This deck consistently finds Magic Hero Blasters super easily, so you never have to worry about writing anything else. So you always have this as a booster, and this just recycles stuff back to your hand. So that's really nice. So it gives you, it should give you four copies. Yep, four copies of Wingle Brave. So you get the one foiled. So the new Wingle Brave retrained is Van or Rear. Uh, when it attacks or the attack that it boosts hits a Vanguard. Uh, look at seven cards from the top of your deck, reveal it to one blaster, put it in your hand, you shuffle the deck. So that's your easy way to search out your blaster or Majesty Oil Blaster. And if you need Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark just to show them the soul, early game search is always good. Plus it works on Van too, so when you ride it, swing with it, it hits, do your top seven, get your search. Really, really, really good search engine there. Um, it also comes with two copies, or no, oh, that's kind of weird. I just picked it up and I guess the, the ordering was kind of weird in my deck, so. It comes with two copies of Cloud Lancer Gamora, so this was a promo at one point. Uh, but now the fact that they reprinted this makes it a lot easier in circulation for people to find, which I'm happy about. Its skill is when it's placed, you put a grade 2 card from your drop zone to the top or bottom of the deck. Uh, if you put a card, this gets 10k. So, recycling cards. So this was really good long time ago when Monarch Alfred was like the dominant grade 3 for Royal Paladin. So you played this, you put, Monarch, you put a Blaster Blade back into the deck you know, keeps Monarch cycling for its effects. Um, this card's really good in Alt-Mile too, because Alt-Mile searches out grade two, so you can call this, use Alt-Mile skill, call it a grade two that was in your drop, that from the deck skill, since Alt-Mile calls from the drop as well. Um, but it's also that free 10k that's really good. The fact that you place it for free, you put a grade two back in your deck and it gets 10k, so. Um, don't know if you really want to be running this in the final version or like in the best, like most competitive version of this deck, but it's not bad as a tech. It's a great card. So I'm really glad they were able to put this in, the, in this, uh, I was going to say legend deck because it feels like a legend deck. Uh, this special deck, that's the official name for it. Uh, they give you four copies of common Knight of Heart Tristan. So this card, I believe, was a triple R in the um, Gansalot, like Aerial Steel something or set. Uh, it's when it's placed, if your vanguard is grade 3 or greater, you count plus 1, search for up to 1 blaster blade, put in your hand, shuffle your deck. Obviously the go-to for this point is it gives you blaster blade really easily, you have to be on grade 3 though, not that big a deal. Um, I definitely think you don't really need this card, because you search out blaster blade so easily as it is, just from recycling, you have wingle, um, you, you're going to be triple driving, so you've got a bunch of ways to just draw into Blaster Blade in general, so I don't really think this card is needed, but there's not a lot of counterblasting going on in this deck, so this is fine. I would replace this with a card like Allen from the Trial deck. So Knight of Squire Allen I think would be a good substitute, but keeping this as a one-of is definitely a good tech, for sure. Uh, they also give you two copies of Pluck Enchanter, which makes sense. Um, once per turn, when your Blaster Blade is placed, you Soul Charge, and if you Soul Charge and there's no face-up cards in your damage zone, you Counter Charge. So, Counter Charge Engine right there for you. Not really needed in my personal opinion, but it's there, you know. Uh, what's the last thing here? Oh, Bark Goal. Cool. Cute. Common Bark Goal, not foiled. Wish it was foiled. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, but it has the... The new text about the quick shield. So when wrote upon, draw a card. If your opponent's vanguard's grade one or greater, put a quick shield ticket into your hand. So now the new one's got that text there for all the errated uh, starters. So for a trigger lineup, it gives you, pretty sure it's just eight crit, four draw. So we get four flow goals. Comes with four lose instead of epinas. And it gives you four PGs, which is, I think, the biggest value to come out of buying this thing. Uh, this is basically where your, your $80 goes to work, um, or 70, whatever you spent on it. Uh, you get four PGs. Easy, you know? If you're gonna be a Royal Paladin main, you're set. Um, Sentinel, you know, when it's placed, discard a card, you know, PG. But it's not a grade one PG, kind of like the ones that came in the Altmile Trial deck. You only get one. You get four here. So you don't have to go searching, you just have them. I mean, they're not foiled. And I know these salts are cheap because they're being reprinted everywhere at this point. Also, this one just gives you four. 
So getting a foiled one is super cheap now, but, you know, why spend money on cards you already have just to make them shiny? What? That's crazy. Who on earth would do that? Um, and then your four heal triggers. So uh, just all the triggers are common. Um, if they put the order cards last. So orders, if you guys don't know, um, so they give you three copies of when darkness, when light and darkness intersects. That just sounds so wrong to say. It should be when light and darkness intersect, right? It's when two things, I don't know, intersects doesn't, I don't know, doesn't sound right. It would make more sense if it was when light intersects darkness, right? Like intersects is like, like the action verb, but intersect should be like, I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, you get a quick shield. Every trial deck gives you a quick shield. You know, if your uh, opponent's at grade one and you're at a grade one, boom, quick shield. You get 5k shield. Uh, this order card, they only give you three. I really don't think you need more than three. I know some people want to run four. I think it's a little excessive because you can only use them once per turn and you have a card that recycles this for you, so you don't need to see four. Uh, but what it does, this card's great, love it, it's a spell essentially. Uh, grade two, so when you're in grade two, resolve one of the following effects. If you have Blaster Blade on Vanner Rear, search for Blaster Dark. If you have Blaster Dark on Vanner Rear, search for Blaster Blade. If you have Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark on your Van or Rear, you search your deck for MLB. So. MLB is Majesty Lord Blaster. That <laughs> wasn't obvious. Uh, so yeah, it's just the fact that you can throw down a Blaster Dark and then boom, you search your Blaster Blade. Or you can use... Where are you, Tristan? You can use Tristan to search out Blaster Blade. You call Blaster Blade, use the order to search out Blaster Dark, and then boom, you have your cost for Majesty Lord Blaster to keep that passive, the, uh, the extra crit and the 5k, and the drive check. So the fact that this card is also just free for the most part because you have play sets of everything. Um, it's a really, really good card. Art's, artwork's great. It's just a really, really consistent, fun deck. So overall, it's just a really good card to run. Definite <laughs> 10 out of 10 for order cards. Also the fact that one of the best order cards in this game is just a Majesty Lord Blaster specific one I just think is really cool. <laughs> Um, last but not least, what comes in here is, uh, they give you three gifts. Not enough, for, for sure. Like, I'll just say that right off the bat. You will need more than these three. Um, because you're going to get three just from the turn you play this. Um, so, order cards are everywhere. Buy trial decks. Ask people, friends, they, who've been playing this game for at least a year. They will have... These literally everywhere, they will be like, yes, please take them off of me. They're everywhere. I need to get rid of them. Um, but yeah, the double-sided gifts are cool. Um, but of course, you know, people have those shiny foiled ones that they want to show off. So, But if you are a budget player, this is a great way to get into the game because a competitive Vanguard deck usually runs anywhere between at least $80, which is the price of what it is to purchase this set. Just the deck alone, this is not including the box and the sleeves, to like 200, and that's being generous. So the fact that you can get all of this, nice foils, play sets, perfect guards, uh, without the hassle of having to build a deck and scrounge and you know buy singles, this is a great product like overall to buy. I can't stress enough how good this is you know the only the only downside i would say is just the fact that you have to if you have ocd and you don't like the fact that your cards are mismatching in art you just have to downgrade you know put this and this back down to their common art sell your svr and get another foil from someone somewhere but overall if you, that's not your concern this is a great product to get definite 10 out of 10 for this product one of the best like you know original starter deck, legend deck, special deck products I think Bushy has made. If the main thing they came to this video or you wanted to watch the video for, if you're wondering, should I buy this? And you're kind of thinking, I want to get in the game. Is $70 really worth it? For one, if you're getting into card games and you're not willing to spend more than $50, this is not the hobby for you. I'm sorry, it sounds rude, but it's just the truth. This really is not your hobby because even if you buy a deck once and it's under $50, you're not going to be playing with that same deck forever. So you need to get used to the idea of that price range being way above 50. 
Second, the fact that you get all of this, all of this for 80, 70 to 80 flat or whatever the retail that people are gonna sell it to you, great deal, overall great deal. So can't stress enough how great this is. You guys should definitely get it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Um, if you guys wanna see my deck profile, because I will be making a deck profile on this deck uh, soon, you guys can check that out in the future. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.